I recently got an automatic solder feed, solder iron. It's the one from Hoki and is rated about 60 watts. So let's open it up now. It comes nicely packaged with a silica gel packet inside. Looking at the construction, we can see it's a rounded heating element with a screw mounted tip. It's pretty handy if we want to customize the tip or use the element for different purposes. Then we can see there is an separate tube going to the tip that is for the solder feed. The plug is a standard 2 pin plug and the wire is not that thick too. I would have expected the wire to be this thin because at 60 watts the current flowing is not that much. There is a gun style button to move the solder forward. We will take a look at the mechanism in a bit. Let's calculate that. Power is equal to voltage times current, so 60 is equal to 240 volts here in India times the current. So current will be 60 divided by 240, which is 0.25 amps. So the wires are not needed to be that thick. Although I would have expected a nice 3 pin plug just because it fits the socket much better. Now for the solder reel, this separate roller attachment comes included with the iron. It slides into the notches given on the back side of the iron. Note that the solder rounded on the roller does not come with it. I rolled some ro solder wire onto it to test it. Now to set the solder wire inside the feeder, we have to insert the wire in this black part right here. Keep inserting it until you feel it's not going in anymore. Then Press the and hold the black part. Then insert the wire till it comes out from the tube near the tip. Then we can use the button to move the wire forward. So basically the setup is done. Let's plug it in and test it. Now as this is not a normal iron, it does not fit in most of my stands. So I used a spare piece of plywood to place the iron. We want to place the iron because this iron takes a lot of time to heat up, like a minute or two. So let's keep the iron and wait. We see some smoke from the tip. So the tip is heated up enough to melt the solder. Let's thin a wire using it. We have to adjust the whole silicon like part at the end of the tube so that our solder hits the tip when it comes out. But once adjusted it works quite well. We can solder using the automatic feeder with relative ease. It is quite useful as we can hold the PCB with one hand and solder with the other. Tinning the tracks is also quite easy. The main advantage for me is, let's say you want to tin a wire to solder somewhere. With two hands you cannot hold the wire, the iron and the solder all together. It gets very uncomfortable. So by using the automatic solder feed, we can tin wires easily and with good speed. So then the Hoki automatic feed iron is quite useful in certain situations. But is it worth its price of about 1000 rupees? I would say it's doubtful. I will use it for some time and make a follow up video regarding how much I use it if I use it at all. Let me know in the comments if you want to know. Thanks for watching.